Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be solving the happy number problem. This question appeared in IEC Computer Science 2012 theory paper. So according to the question, a happy number is a number in which the eventual sum of the square of the digits of the number is equal to 1. Let's try to understand this with an example. Consider the number 28. If you find the square of each of its digits, 2 squared, 8 squared and find their sum, you get 68. 2 squared is 4, 8 squared is 64 and you get 68. Now because 68 is not a one digit number, you carry on this process. So we now take 68 and we repeat the process. We again pick the digits, find their squares and find their sum. So 6 squared plus 8 squared gives 36 plus 64, which equals 100. 100 is also not a one digit number. So again, we have to repeat this process. Now, again, we pick up the digits, find their squares and their sum. So 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared gives us 1. Now, because we have got a one digit number, now we check whether it is equal to 1 or not. So yes, the eventual sum is 1. And that's why we now conclude that 28 is a happy number. So if the eventual sum is a one digit number, but not one, then it's not a happy number. Otherwise, if it is one, then we can say it's a happy number. So here is one example, 12, which is not a happy number. Because when you find the square of the digits and then find their sum, so 1 squared plus 2 squared gives 1 plus 4, which equals 5. So the eventual sum is 5, a one digit number, but it is not equal to 1. So 12 is not a happy number. So we have to design a class happy to check if a given number is a happy number. And these are the specifications, the class name, the variable to be used, the constructor, get num to receive the number, some square digits, it will find the square of the digits of the number and then find their sum using recursive technique. And finally, the is happy number that will check whether the number is happy or not. And then accordingly, it will display a suitable message. We also need to create a main function to create an object and call the methods accordingly to check for happy number. So this is the question. So let's start solving the question now. Let's start writing the program. So I have created a file happy.java. Let's start with the import statement. Then we create the class. We declare the variable n. We create the constructor, the default constructor, where n will be initialized to 0. Then the getNum function, to store the number into the variable n, public int sum square digits int x. Now this is now this is a function that needs to be recursive in nature. So if x is less than 10, that means only one digit number is left. In that case, we simply return its square. So this is our base case. Otherwise, we find the digit, the rightmost digit by doing x mod 10. And then we return the square of the digit plus, and I again call the function with the remaining digits. So x divided by 10. So this is our recursive function that will find the sum of the square of the digits. Next, 
is happy function. So it will call the sum square digits function and store the answer in a variable result. I'm passing n to it. So I get the result. Now while this result is greater than 9, that means as long as we don't get a one digit number, result keeps calling the function while passing itself. So the result will keep updating each time. And once we come out of this loop, that means we have got a one digit number. Now we need to check if this value is one or not. If so, then we print n is a happy number. Else, n is not a happy number. Now we only need to create the main function to create the object. We also create the scanner object inside. This will help us to receive the number from the user. So we give a message to the user first of all. Enter the number int num equals integer dot parsint in dot next line. Next uh, we create the object of happy class. We call the getNum function and pass the number that we have just received from the user. And we call the isHappy function, which in turn calls the sum square digits function to get the result and display a message accordingly. And that's it, our program is complete. Let's check the output. So if I give 28, so yes, 28 is a happy number. And if I give 12, it is not a happy number. So that's all in this class. I hope you have understood how to solve the happy number program. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class very soon.